Hello, in this training video, we are gonna cover how you can run a final expense on your new quoting tool. So when you click into the quoting tool underneath your tool section, you will see final expense life. Um, so underneath that, you're just gonna select run quote. It will then take you to your quote search where you would start by typing in the zip code. In the right hand corner of the screen, it will populate the city and the state to back validate that zip code is valid. You can then adjust the age, the gender, the tobacco status, and also the face value amount. So it's always going to start at 10,000 and then you can always adjust that base value as you see fit. We also have the option for you to do a monthly rate. So um, a great example is if an individual tells you they only have $50 a month to allocate towards a certain plan, you can type in that dollar amount and it's going to show you all available plans with the face value amounts um, that would be $50 $50 or less. Um, so you can run that quote a couple of different options. In this training video, I'm going to show you how both of those options work. So in this example, we're just going to leave it at that $10,000 face value. You can then select the product type. Um, depending on how we classify that particular plan, um, if you cannot find it under a graded or a level or return on premium, you can select all also. So it's going to bring in all the different product types that are available for you. And then you would then select the underwriting type. So whether that is full or guaranteed, full is going to incorporate any type of underwriting, even if that's a simplified underwriting or there's only a couple of different health questions, any type of underwriting is going to be considered full. And then you can also have the option to do a guaranteed issue if you'd like. You can sort by price, AM best rating, SP rating, if those companies do participate in those different ratings. The client label, this is optional, but if you wanted to type in a client's name, you could do so here um, just so when you save it, um, it will have their name associated with it. So from there, we're going to go ahead and hit get quote, and it's going to populate all the available plans for me that have a $10,000 face value amount, all product types is what I'm looking looking at, at here. So you'll notice here at the upper um, top of your screen, you can always quickly adjust the value. So if you wanted to quickly change that to a 20,000 instead of 10, you don't have to go run a completely new quote. You can just change and adjust these quick quote features up here at the top. From there, we're going to start seeing a complete list of all the available companies um, that you are able um, um, to write here. So we'll show you the monthly um, costs, the annual fee, what the company name is, the plan. So um, just depending on what the plan name is, we'll have that listed. The parent company, um, how many years this particular company has been in the market for the final expense, um, and then the AMBES and S&P rating if, if the company participates in there. So when you're looking at, at these results here, you can see we have a complete list um, of, of available carriers here for you. But from here, we can start adjusting our view. So over here on the left hand side here, of course, you can always export this information, whether you want to print off all the results or if you want to export all of this into a PDF, you have those options here. Um, underneath the adjust view, what I'm going to show you is the expand quotes, which I'm showing you right now. If I did not have the expand quotes selected, it would just show me each particular company in that monthly rate. When we initially run a quote, it is not applying any of these annual fees. So in order to apply these annual fees, you will have to make sure that the annual fees is checked marked over here on the left hand side. A lot of times if you do go directly to a company's website to quote, they may include those annual fees, um, including in that rate. So um, if you're looking to match that up, please make sure your annual fees there is selected. And then you can always view this as a monthly rate, a quarterly, semi-annual, or annual rate. So if I did have annual rate selected, you can definitely see how those numbers adjust there, and then it is applying that annual fee. So over here on the left-hand side, just make sure that all of the information under your adjust view is correct there. 
A lot of what um, agents find useful with this quoting tool is our comparison feature. So you'll notice here at the top you have a compare quotes box. So as I select different plans, so if I'm going to propose a couple of different plan options to an individual, as I select those plans, you'll notice that the blue bar then turns green. It then takes that plan and puts it in the upper left-hand corner under your compare quotes box. So you can select up to five plans here to put into that compare quotes box. Now what's good about this compare quotes box is that you can run different quotes and put those quotes in the compare quotes box. So for example, if you wanted to quote a husband and a wife, so you originally run the female rate and then you would change that to the male rate, you go ahead and you run a quick quote here and then you can then select the mail plan that you want to add to your comparison there. So you could do different face value amounts, you can do different type of products, um, you can make any of those different adjustments that you need to here. So I still have my female plan options here, now I'm looking at the mail options. I could go and find um, some plans to then select for that individual and then put them in the compare quotes. So then once I click on compare quotes, it is then going to bring those four plan options side by side for me. So I have the two female plans, I have the two male plans, and then I can see those how those dem different demographics here um, are at the bottom. But it's going to provide me a complete summary of, of the, the plan. So what are the annual rates, the annual fees, and then quarterly, semi, monthly, um, et cetera there. And so then from here, you can always export this as a PDF or print it off. So you can have that side to side that side-by-side -side comparison, and then you can email it over um, to an individual for them to compare their options. So I'm going to hit the back button here. Um, you, if you wanted to compare more than five plans, what you could do is over here on the right-hand side, you can remove plans. So if you did want to remove any of the, these plans here, you could just select them, remove them, and then you can export your results um, that way as well. So you can do either of those different options for your comparisons. Now I told you I'm going to sh also show you what it would be like if you would run a monthly rate. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to type in $50. So a lot of individuals may have a, a budget for their insurance, whether that's health insurance, life insurance. Um, so they may come to you and say, I only have so much money that I can allocate towards this plan and this is what makes sense for me. So you can just type in that monthly rate. Um, and now it's going to bring up any plans that are going to be available for that $50 or less. So as I start scrolling through here, you can see these different face um, amounts and how they vary based upon company here. Um, and you'll also see these annual fees. So how much bang can they bang for their buck, you know, can they get based upon um, how much they have available? Underneath your quote options, um, you can view the plan details. This is just going to give you a bit more of a summary on what type of plan it is, all those semi-quarterly and monthly payment amounts, um, and then what type of product it is, a level benefit, etc. So you can have those if you just wanted to do a, a one-time plan details. Um, the other option underneath your um, quote options is a link to go directly to the carrier's website. So if if you did need to visit that carrier's website for additional information, we do provide those quick links there for you. So under, some of them have them, not every single one does, but this uh, visit carrier resource button. Um, so you can view those as well. Last but certainly not least, we have our application health questions over here on the left hand side. So. For an individual that does have to go through underwriting, if they have a certain health condition that they are worried about or you, the agent, is, is worried about them passing underwriting, you can select 
any health condition that, that we have here in the system. And what we're doing is we are looking back at the carrier's underwriting guides and the, the, the questions that are on these carrier's applications. So if this individual has suffered from a heart attack, you want to know what that look back period is on the application. So we will show you here for this particular company, Liberty Bankers, this plan is going to be a two year look back period. So that means on the application, it is going to ask in the last two years, have you been treated for or diagnosed with a heart attack? We should have a lot of the, the carrier's underwriting information in here. There may be a couple that we just don't have access to their applications to look at that. But for a majority of these companies, we will have all of that look back period. You can add multiple different conditions to this look back period as well. So if they, you know, they do suffer from a couple of different things, you can check that what that look back period is for each condition. And then you can uncheck mark that as well. If you have any questions on the quoting tool, there's a, there's, um, a contact support button um, over here on the left-hand side on the quote results page, or if you go into the, um, the um, first when you sign in, we also have the, this contact support. So if you have any questions, you can um, send an email with your information um, and then they'll, they will receive it and then they can answer the questions um, and assist you further with that. So hopefully you find this quoting tool to be extremely helpful for you and being able to compare all of the final expense plans that are available for you. The tool is super easy, um, easy to use as, as you saw in this quick tutorial. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out. Always happy to help assist you there.